Hey everybody, we started the first one. I, I said everybody, you know, nobody's watching this video. We started the first one and I had black stuff in my teeth from lunch that I had to get out. So this is take number two of our garden journal. I think this is our third week. We're just getting home from church and it's Sunday afternoon. Gaines, you wanna say hey? Hey! So we're gonna start on the porch. We, uh, let's go over here first. Oh, let's I forgot to tell you, I there was a skink on our back porch. We have one of them skanks on <laughs> yeah. our back porch. <laughs> yeah. One of them skanks. You, yeah, you gotta watch out for them skanks. Yep. There's do they bite? <laughs> well, if you make them bad enough, they do. It doesn't hurt, though. So, let's look at our mint first. Mommy, you wanna talk about how the mint's doing? Yes. Say anything about it? It's doing really good. It's very happy. I actually got another mint um, plant inside that's smaller. That's yeah. Growing. I'll probably pot it. Soon. Did did one of your mints die? No. Oh. Yeah, it's doing really good. She got another one, and then over here, our herbs are doing good. Oh, actually, like the basil's plant. probably Guys, doubled. Look over there. Guys, come on. Hold on. We'll, we'll be over go, there in we'll just a second. second. And then um, we got a new okra plant. Yes, we did end up getting a new one because the other one we moved out here and we thought it was all but dead, but that gets hotter sunshine and more afternoon sunshine. And believe it or not, if that thing, I don't know. We'll I get a closer a, shot of it in a minute. Yeah, I thought it was a goner, but there's some new greenery and leaves forming on it. The so. time is coming back. I pulled out the dead pieces and now the new pieces are growing. Did we do um, anything different to help or? The lavender, to, for the time? Just in, yeah. Uh, oh, I just didn't water as much yeah. over here because this has this is a um, hydroponic bucket, so there's water that it doesn't drain out; it drains to the bottom. But the lavender is blooming. Yes, we've also had see, look warmer. This. Do you warmer see that evening. little bud? It's got oh, purple. Yeah. I don't know if it'll focus on it. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit. Little lavy blooming. Mm -hmm. We've had warmer evenings and, and days. We actually had a day get up to like 90 degrees this past week. And the evenings have been, instead of in the 50s much, they've been closer to 60. There it is. Okay. All right, so let's go get a close up of the okra that we thought was pretty much a goner. And I think this warm weather, so, um, Last week I said I thought it was too much water, but I was talking to a good buddy of mine, Jason, and he said that it was actually probably the cooler temperatures that okra thrives in like really warm, hot weather, which we've had. So we just moved the bucket that we thought was no more over here it, and it gets more longer afternoon sun. And I don't know, we're gonna- We might have to, we might have to put like a little potting area over here for this, because the sun shines a little bit different on this side. Yeah. So. It gets, and we have a good spot right here that yes. we could put some if we needed to. It gets great afternoon sun over mm -hmm. here. Yeah. It's hot, hot. Guys, let's also go check on the other plants. All right, Gaines, go, let's go, let's go look at the other plants. Go show us what's, what we got going on over here. We've had a few things happen over here, and things are actually doing really good, I think. Oh, look at that plant. The bok choy, the yeah. The bok choy, we moved out, and we basically <laughs> stopped watering it. Um, oh, poor guy. As I'm just waiting on it to finish going to seed, are which has got all the seed pods on it. Yeah, let's see how these plants are doing. Let's see here. Let's see. Um, we got an airplane flying overhead. Airplane. You got one of the bully blades? Yep. Yeah. Gaines calls all, if you find a spiky in the ground, Gaines calls it a bully blade. Yeah, because I like to. Did you want to, did you want to say anything about the plants, Gaines? Oh, so, I don't know what these are. Those are tomatoes. Those are Siam tomatoes. There's a bunch of blooms and a bunch of tomatoes coming in. Yeah. yeah. A lot. We have a bunch of them coming in. We have our, our reaper plant. There's actually two reaper plants in there. Red bell, red bell hot burrito pepper, just onions, taters. Uh, we have an Italian pepper. Did we have this a big Bertha Bell. I haven't got, I haven't Thank seen you. it today. 
we staked this one. I'm gonna need to stake that one. And actually I used <laughs> for the string, I got one of the unused COVID masks with the little stretchy, like the giveaway ones, with the little stretchy sproingy things and used it to tie it. Yeah. We're gonna have a storm today because look at all the leaves there. I'm, they're turned flipping they're over. Flipping upside down, they know. Yeah, we might have a storm. This is the candy cane. I need to stake it too. It started blooming. Initially, I was picking blooms so that the plant would grow more, and I may stop picking the blooms now and let it start doing that. So, all of our tomatoes back here are doing great. This one we've, is the one that we've kept in a little pot. We were probably gonna give that away. Um, but all these are pink brandy wine and the little onion seeds are doing good. Um, I just am so happy to see how big they are from just growing them from a seed. Yeah. You know, like that's just, it's just so cool. Yeah. Now, interestingly enough, this one right here was the only one that we got from an established plant. When I went back to Lowe's, they, they had some. And so we kind of did it as a test. And the other ones... It was significantly bigger than the other ones when we planted it. This, they've almost caught up. The but, coloration's a little bit different on these. Yeah, they caught up. There is this one. We got a little bloom here. Oh, yeah, we do, don't we? Um, the, the tomato, this one that we planted with big onions is doing really well. So The, onion, the little onions are still pretty small. The little onions are still pretty small. Yeah, but they're... From what I can tell, doing pretty good. Um, and then over here, we changed this up. So there's our bok choy and there's a sherbet. Hey, sherbet. Um, so I went ahead and moved our cage over the squash and zucchini. And the idea will be that we can grow the squash and zucchini up through the holes of this and hopefully contain it some. And then if we need to, we can put another, like, fence on an angle up here that if we want it to grow up that we can um so it still gets good sunlight sitting there it's like two o'clock in the afternoon it, uh, potatoes in the ground right now so kai's usually been stomping on them <laughs> yeah, yeah kai likes to walk on potatoes he did that in the last video we made <laughs> he's sleeping right now yeah he's sleeping and then we've got our cucumber plant here that as it gets taller we're going to direct to grow up this so, so far, this week, this update, I think things are going pretty good. Yep. So, I think that's about it. Anything else we need to add to it? Peanut Did you chill. see that this bok choy has um, got, like, babies? There's baby bok choys? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It sure did. I wonder if those came up from those random cold, that random cold snap we had. Oh, wait, no, they're attached to the stalks. Oh. Wow, well, we have the seed pods formed and stuff. We're just waiting now. We're just waiting for it to basically dry out and then we'll take the seed pods and get the seeds out of them. So yep. anyways, that's it. Yep, that's it. See you in the next video. We'll see Bye. you next time. Bye.